Hey there! Do you want to launch a course in 2022 or do you maybe already have a course and want to boost its revenue? Then you're just in the right place because in this video I'm going to tell you the exact trends you need to watch out to make it in an online course space. But not just any trends, the ones that are actually going to make an impact on your bottom line. Hey there, I'm Anastasia, launch strategist and online course expert helping coaches, business owners and consultants launch and scale successful online courses. Who am I to be talking about this? That's a very valid question. I've spent the last four years working as an online marketer in the online education industry and has been part of the teams that worked on multi-million dollar launches for online courses, so I know a thing or two about launches. Interested in videos like that? Then don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button because I'll be releasing a lot more videos about launching your online course and I'll be sharing all of my best tips in them. As you watch this video, let me know in the comments down below whether you're just planning on launching your online course or you already have an online course and you're looking to boost its revenue in 2022. Okay, let's jump right back in. And our trend number one is showing more of you as a person. It's an era of P2P marketing, meaning person to person. Gone are the days where coaches and consultants needed to separate their expert persona from their real life authentic selves to be deemed professional and to get big clients. Now, more than ever, because the space is getting more competitive, you need to set yourself apart from other course providers. And it's the easiest to do when your audience can connect to you as a person. Now, that does not mean that you need to become a lifestyle blogger or disclose all of the information about what you like to do, where you spend your time, who you spend your time with, but you do need to offer your audience a little bit of an insight. What really moves you? What are your interests? What's important for you in life? Again, not touching on any touchy subjects if you don't feel like it, but you do need to let your true colors shine through. People don't want to buy from human walking versions of encyclopedias anymore because there is a million experts out there, so you gotta show what makes you unique. And often, that's not about the programs we've done, that's not about the universities we've gone to, and it's not even about the clients we worked with, but it's about our experiences as a whole. It's about who we are as a person. The easiest way to sell, whether that's online or offline, is to establish the trust between you and your audience. And that goes both ways. Your audience needs to trust in you as an expert and as a professional, but they also need to trust in you as a person. And you can only do that if you show who you are and what makes you unique and what you stand for. Remember, the online course space does not need another basic blending in professional, repeating the same information that we can read from any other book out there on the internet. We need unique people sharing their real life experience because remember, Google has everything except for your experience. Trend number two, focusing on retaining your students till the end of your program. In 2022, it's not just about selling your course to the students, which is what most programs and coaches focus on. It's actually about getting your students through that transformation that you've promised them. It sounds super simple, but especially if you've already tried to launch a program, a group coaching program, an online course, you know that getting students to stick through till the end is actually one of the hardest things when creating an online course. Actually, if you did launch an online course, what is your experience with it? Let me know in the comments down below. What is your retention rate? With how many students complete your program till the very end, get that certificate? And how fast, how long does it take them? I'd love to know. Here's why it's so important. We are not creating online courses to just make a quick buck and sell them and never care about how our students perform after. We sell online courses to get the students those results that we promised. If you're not able to deliver consistent transformation to your current students who are signing up for your courses, you won't have success with signing up more students later down the line. You need to know that your system doesn't only work in theory, but that people can actually implement it, that you are the right sort of expert to guide them through the process that you're teaching them. The online course space is expanding and growing, and that's great because it means that people are interested in online education and they are buying online courses. But what it also means is that their attention is spread thin. Your course is likely not the only one they will be doing. They'll probably be studying something else in parallel or doing something else. It's your job 
to get them in that headspace where they can actually implement the things that they learn. The last thing you want is for your course to end up in a pile of other courses that they bought that they're never gonna get to and never gonna watch because the negative halo effect is real. It's illogical, but by a simple virtue of buying a course, people already expect the transformation to happen. It's illogical, it's not gonna happen that way, but it's the way that our psyche works. So it's your job to actually implement strategies and tips in place to actually draw students in into the learning program. Now there's strategies and tricks in place to implement to ensure that your students actually complete your course and it's a whole topic in and of its own. So if that's something interesting for you, let me know in the comments down below whether I should do a whole different video on it. Hey, are you liking this video? Then you're definitely gonna like my bi-weekly newsletter because that's where I share all of the tips and strategies that I actually try with my real life clients, all of the dips on exciting things happening in an online course space, and give you all of the exciting information that I just don't share anywhere else. I promise I won't ever spam you with a bajillion salesy emails. You can unsubscribe anytime. Link is in the description below. And this leads us to trend number three, live launches will take over evergreen launches. Now, this is a discussion as all this time, which way of launching is better, cohort, live launching, or evergreen launching. Each has its own pros and cons, but what I currently see in an online education space is that more and more course creators actually switch to the live cohort launching style, and there are a few reasons for that. One of the most important ones actually has to do with a previous trend we discussed, is that live launches allow for far more seamless and far more intuitive community building. It allows for way more students to actually follow through the program and actually complete it in time. If all of your students start at the same time, you can monitor the progress, you can see who's lagging behind, you can see who maybe needs a little bit of extra help, and that just allows for that completion rate boost up that you really, really need. And that ease of building a lively and engaged community when you launch with a live cohort is actually what leads me to trend number four, which is big focus on the community. In 2022, Community building is not optional anymore, it's a must. Jeff Walker, the best-selling author of Launch and a pioneer of online marketing launches, even goes so far to say that launches is what allowed his business to grow with quantum leaps instead of incrementally. In one of his latest newsletters, he writes, Suddenly, I went from making slow and steady progress to experiencing quantum leaps forward, from knowing 10% more than anyone about launches to knowing 10 times more. How did that happen? in a word, community. So if a pioneer of online marketing launches says you should focus on a community, then trust me, you should focus on the community. And I don't mean a half-hearted Facebook group where you post every once in a blue moon and ask a lame question that no one really answers. I mean actually investing time and effort in making your community as valuable as possible to your students. Think of your community as a cherry on top of your online course programs. This is what will get people hooked on your products. This is what will allow them to progress together with you. This is what will get them engaged. This is what will get them activated. So actually do invest the time and effort in making it as interesting and as valuable as possible. Number five, course extras are not an option anymore. What I mean by that is that a course that is a simple video recording with no additional information will have a much harder time attracting students now that there's so much competition in this space. You need to make the learning process as easy and intuitive as possible for your students. That means including cheat sheets, documents, lists, step-by-step -step processes, whatever will help your students better remember the information that you're teaching in a course. Think, how can you make information from your course as easily applicable as possible? What are your students constantly asking you for? What is the step of the way where they stumble and they don't know how to proceed? Can you create an instruction for that, a cheat sheet, a clear step-by-step -step instruction? And if you can, do that by all means. And our final trend number six, developing a product suite. One of the best ways to expand your online course revenue is to create a product suite versus having just one flagship offer. There are different ways in which you can expand your product suite, either vertical or horizontal. An example of a horizontal expansion would be to create a course from an adjacent field. So let's say you've released an online course for entrepreneurs on how to do their online marketing. 
Your next course topic could be on something like taxes or hiring people or scaling their business. An example of vertical expansion would be to launch a more advanced course which builds off of the foundations that you taught people in your first one or launch an extended mastermind program or do both actually. Creating a product suite is not only a great way to boost your revenue but it also means that you're growing together with your audience and as a business owner in your business you can always expand and grow and talk about new exciting things instead of being stuck in one little topic area feeling like a broken tune. But it also means that you can grow together with your audience and that as their needs expand, you offer them new products, making them brand evangelists for you. And there you have it, six big trends for online course launches in 2022. Which of these trends will you be implementing first for your offer? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and smash that bell icon to get notified whenever I release new videos about online course launches and how to make it as a course creator. And if you want to get even more inside scoop on how to launch a successful online offer in 2022, you got to subscribe to my bi-weekly newsletter. That's where I share all of the strategies and tips that I actually try out with my clients and give you the first tips on exciting things happening in this space and just share tips that I don't share anywhere else. Link is in the description below. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what was your biggest insight from this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!